My name is Aurelia. I'm originally from Germany. I chose to study clean tech innovation because I wanted to deepen my technical understanding to really position myself at that nexus of applying science, technology and business to solving the problems that my generation is facing. I'm Sandra and I grew up in Singapore, a forward-thinking uh, island nation where I learned early on the importance of climate adaptation. My time at Imperial has been uh, nothing short of uh, transformational. In just the last few months, I've gone from uh, studying nanotechnology concepts to actually developing my own solution. So what is special about the Masters of Science in Clean Tech Innovation is that it is a collaboration between the Grantham Institute and the Dyson School of Design Engineering, which is what you feel throughout the curriculum. It really brings together the best of both worlds, essentially, to apply the principles of design engineering, really forcing you to think outside of the box, empowering you to really come up with wacky ideas and play with them and test them to come up with innovative solutions. The clean tech innovation really gives you hands-on experience, which I think some of the other programs may not do so. Apart from just learning the theories behind it, we are then given the opportunity to test out our solutions in lab spaces, from um, laser cutters, 3D printers, to myself using a chemistry lab and uh, uh, using a fume hood and making lithium iron batteries. You can't understand and appreciate fully just by learning the theory behind it. The Dyson School of Design Engineering is a very special place around Imperial College. It is truly where a lot of disciplines meet. It's more crucial than ever that we all come together and work on solutions together. What sets the Grantham Institute apart is that instead of becoming like their own little green silo, they are actually collaborating across all of the colleges to focus on sustainable solutions across all different industries. Our startup is actually pioneering transparent radiative cooling coatings with the potential to reduce energy use by 20% and save over 200 megatons of CO2 emissions annually. I actually met my co-founder at a university hackathon. We then managed to secure the backing of Imperial Solar Coatings Group uh, to use their lab space at White City. They are actually guiding our prototyping as we participate in pitch competitions because Imperial is such a science-based university, we have so much lab space and so much entrepreneurship networks. And everybody, from professors to our enterprise labs, are always happy to help out, spend some time with us and give us guidance on how we can uh, scale up our ideas. We are learning about the value proposition canvas. We are learning about how to do user and customer discovery and interviews. Rapid prototyping, we are learning how to do testing and all of this while being supported by the best tutors across Imperial's network, essentially, that are supporting us in this journey to develop a new clean tech solution until June. I didn't come from a scientific background, but here I am developing a startup in radiative cooling coatings. So I think uh, everybody should feel that they have an opportunity to make an impact in climate space. <laughs>